and herein lies the tales of the schools. <laughs> the first accomplishment my father made in America for many years of hard work, he bought my mother a pair of diamond earrings. They called them schools because you had to screw them on. But everybody said schools. They didn't know how to say screws, you know. They said schools. <laughs> and they were her, her ticket to America. This was her f arrival as, a, as, a, as an immigrant into this country. She was so thrilled. And she said, you know, many years ago, when we lived upstairs over Mr. Kaplan's store, every Sunday, Papa and me used to take the children to Coney Island. One Sunday, she says, one Sunday, I packed everything up, the children with Papa, we go to Coney Island, we get to the first, we, before we got to Coney Island on the station at Canal Street, it was so crowded and so hot. Oh, I never forgot that, oh Jesus. The, we, my father pushed his wife and his three kids, my sisters, into the sub, and the door closes and leaves him on the platform mm -hmm. with the valises, with the, with the suitcases, with the bathing suits. And he's standing there, and the door's closing, and we're Papa, Papa, Papa! Anyway, my mother had enough foresight to recognize that he would come in, with, in the next train, and sure enough, we waited on the Surf Avenue station at Coney Island. He arrives, but the poor man, his pocket was picked. So he had no money. We had to get back in the train and go back to Hester Street, where we lived. It was a horrible experience. So what happened the next Sunday, she says, you stay home. I'll take the children. You're, you're too much trouble. I gotta watch you like I watch the girls. He says, all right, don't. I think he was happy he didn't have to go. Anyway, what did she do? She takes her precious earrings where nobody would find them. Where do you think she put them? I bet you don't know in the enema bag. <laughs> Put them in a piece of paper, tissue paper, and stuck them in the enema. Who's gonna steal something from an enema bag? Nobody knows that. Who hides anything in an enema bag? Only when you take an enema, I mean. Anyway, we get off to Coney Island. We go to the municipal baths. I get undressed, and somebody steals my skirt from the locker. So I, we came home, I'm without a skirt. And my mother walks in, she's frustrated. It was a little black satin skirt. Jesus, how do I remember that? And the first, Papa, in the meantime, is sitting home bored to death. He says, I'm gonna fix the enema. It hasn't been working right. And he goes to the closet where it's hanging like a, like a badge of honor. And he dips into the enema bag. He sees this little package and throws it out the window. Mama comes home, she runs right to the enema bag, and all of a sudden you hear, Marcia! <laughs> like all help, Marcia, the enema in the schools! The enema in the schools! Where are my schools? Who's this thing at David in the schools? And he knew, his face got white. He knew what he had thrown out. Well, like you see in the movies, every window in that tenement flew open, my mom, and everybody, Mrs. O Mrs. Baranowski schools, Mrs. Baranowski school, they came out on the fire escapes, they started to look in the street, and everybody, they had like a stake in her school. And, and, and they, they're going in the streets, and, and Mr. Kaplan is sitting there in front of his store, not budging. And to that day on, my mother says, she never found them. She says, they're bested. They're bested at the kidding minor school. <laughs> it was very plausible because he was <laughs> right, right under our apartment and he always sat outside. It must have gone right in his lap and he kept them. And this was years later, 10 years later, my mother kept cursing him for those lousy schools. <laughs> Did your father ever buy her more? Mm. Couldn't afford it. 
that was it. But th this, but we got even with this guy. He used to come into the ideal luncheonette, and my mother always shortchanged him. <laughs>